Good morning, everybody. Welcome to sunny Weymouth. It's scorching hot here. It's Thursday morning. I think it's still morning. <gasps> Six minutes left. It's 32. Oh, there's no point in showing you that. It don't come out. 32.5 in the greenhouse. It was a bit warmer than that um, when I got here, when I when I opened the door. So, right, what have I been doing? I haven't been doing a lot. I've been doing a lot of weeding. And you don't want to see that, do you? But, down here. And you see, I put a little board across there. So what I want to do my rhubarb there and I want to put another rhubarb here so it's just all enclosed I shall pull all that grass out later so yeah that's all right isn't it I acquired this big long um, post oh god yeah that anyway I acquired that and I thought that'll just fit there nicely I've brought me um, geranium down from the big garden and once these beetroots are finished there's only a couple left I it will be oh and red spring onions when I bought them I thought they were leeks silly me I've been pulling out me uh, one of my, two of my squashes and my pumpkins. These beans haven't grown that well at all. There's a few on there, but not many. Um, you can see them there. But they haven't grown well at all. So next year, I'm going to really feed this ground. I'm going to really feed it and grow my beans on there and where my beans are growing on that fence there I'm going to grow my peas there but that's all this is all going to change it is which you will see later on another build and since I've put these plastic around there to stop the wind from getting in they started growing really well in fact I got a couple of flowers there you can see that one yeah so I might get a couple more strawberries so I'm gonna have to try and do something with this bit here as well so yeah my raspberries are coming on well I'm picking off of them every other day And here is my cauliflowers and broccoli. And look, a nice broccoli there. One there. One there. Yeah, they're all growing nicely. There's another one. There. No sign of cauliflowers yet, though, but that's okay. That's okay. My swedes have started growing again. Remember the cab uh, cabbage white had them? Yeah. So they're, they're all growing again. There's my turnips. Yeah. So, what am I going to do today? Charlie, what are we going to do today then? We don't know yet. Right, the other day when I came down here, I found that somebody had decided to throw, I've just got to tip them out, to throw a lot of bean seeds on 
two of two of my beds. So I managed to pick out all them that somebody had thrown on. Sabotage! I know who it is, but I never saw them, so I can't prove anything. Um, it was a certain person that I reported stealing off of my plot. And he's still here. So, and he's stolen a lot of things off of other people's plots as well. But what do you do? Oh, come here. Save them for next year and grow them myself. Ha! Thank you. Right, I thought I'd just come down and do some more tidying up. Down here in the pumpkin and squash patch. Um, I've just followed one of the vines to see if there was anything on it and there wasn't. Oh, hang on, I'm just taking the gloves off. Come on, glovey. Um, it was going that way and there was nothing on it, so let's have a look here. Right, we've got one growing there. It's only a little one at the minute. So we won't pull this vine out. Right, there's nothing growing on that one, so I'm going to cut that off. And that's growing there. So yeah, we can get rid of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the other one, there's a little one there. We can chop that off there. Now, we've got one growing here. And we've got one there growing. So I shall leave that one. Get rid of these. Now I've noticed, I have noticed, I've decided, and so. That's the three things that I keep saying. This is getting a bit high, so, so, see? I want to try and find a bit more wood that I can attach to it here and make it higher. Because I haven't really got anywhere to put anything, any weeds and whatever. This had, this tomato plant had, what's it called, that brown thing. Some of the tomatoes are alright, but I'm not going to keep them. Blight, that's it. It had really quite bad blight that was just creeping up everywhere. So I thought, just in case, I'll, ah, there we go. Prime example. So I thought, just pull it out and get rid of it. I've got my other tomato plants. That was just a tomato plant that was growing that I had spare. So I thought I'd just plant it in this corner. So, never mind. It's all experiments, isn't it? And if you look under here... Growing onto the path. Are you ready? Wow. Got a nice big marrow growing there. And there's a little courgette growing there. And two more little ones there and there. So I shall just leave that to grow. That's come out of here. That's okay. That's dying off a bit, so I shall go and have a look. See if there's any branches. Actually, no. Now that I've sorted that one out there, I've got them two going off. I'm going to just carry on with the hay for a minute. Right, that's, that's that done. That looks better. 
Right, this post here has been doing my nutting for ages. It should be like that, nice and tight. So that means this one's broke and possibly this one. I'm going to try hammering this one in and then I shall try hammering that one in. Well, they both went in a bit, but I've put this one in as well, just to make it more sturdy. So that's not annoying me anymore. Right, let's have a look around and see what is annoying me. I'm going to see what these turnips are like now. See if... I believe this is a nice big one. Can you see it? So I'm going to pull that. That is nice, look. See if there's any more. Don't stand on the chart. Oh, look. Oh, he's gone. There he is. Hello, Mr. Frog. It's a tiny little thing. There's another big one. Funny, isn't he? Uh, no, I don't like turnips. I grow them for other people. There's not very much that I do like in here. That should be a big one. So, oh, it isn't. I thought that one would have been a big one because of the big stalks on it. That's okay, it's still big enough to eat. I have a few people lined up. Oh, can't really feel that one. Loads of weeds in here that I want to get rid of. This bloody grass. Oh, don't you just hate it? So I've got another squash growing here as well. Oh, another frog. You see him? There he goes. Yeah, so I've got this other squash growing here. That's got a tiny one growing at the minute. So that'll be nearly ready. I've planted ele elephant garlic here on the, I believe it was the 11th of September. I did make a video, but instead of putting my camera on pause when I put you down behind the shed in the shade I left the blooming thing on and I had about three minutes of footage so wow look can you see that that's quite a big marrow so I might just pick that today I know somebody who would like that. Wow, there's another marrow. Ah, ah. Marrows galore. Can you see it? There. Wow. Right. Let's go get these. Go get these cleaned up. These beauties. Right, just put you on pause a minute. Okay. This bit here has started to die off. So, so, I'm picking this end up here to see where it goes to see if there's anything on it. It looks like it goes out the other side of the fence and ouch and there's nothing on it they're very very prickly aren't they right follow it all the way back to get out of the way you here snip that one and then i can get rid of all that it's it's sort of 
dying off anyway. There's nothing... I mean, I know the stems go black. I keep forgetting to point you in the right direction. So if I just carefully cut it back like this, because there's no pointy bit on it anymore. You know what a pointy bit is, don't you? That grows a bit longer. Now that one, that one there is. So I'll come all the way back to there and cut it off there. So I can get rid, uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I've cut that blooming piece off that was still growing. Remember I showed you them courgettes that were out that were outside. I've cut the blinking, the blinking, blinking, blinking stem off. Ouch! So that's okay. That's okay, isn't it? I've got a small barrel there and a courgette. Oh. Got right one. Eh? I would like to have grown that into a bigger marrow, but never mind. Oh, excuse me. There's marrow. See, look, there's them little. Sorry, wibbly wobbly. I can't even see. Ah, there. There's them look that would have grown. Wonder what they taste like. Hmm. Not a little. Let's have a go. Yeah, all right. All right, I suppose. Hmm. Right. Now, I'm going to go see if I can find some wood for that. Right, as I'm going through all this wood, it's a bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do is move all that to maybe here. I'm going to put all that plastic sheet in that I've got. Can't really see that one, can you? Well, it's the, yeah, yeah, you can. Um, I'm going to put all that at the back. I'm going to pull that fencing out that I've got there, that little bit of fencing. That might come in handy somewhere, see? So when I've got all that at the back, then I'm going to put this and this at, in front of them. Then put the wood in front of that because I think I'm needing the wood more than I'm needing anything else at the minute. So let's get cracking with that. The birds have come back feeding as well, but they are absolute pigs. Because if I put fat balls in this one, they're gone within a day. So I've started putting them in these ones and they last a bit longer because they are gannets. That was full yesterday. I don't mind the bird seed, but the fat balls are like quite expensive. So anyway, yes, I've been going through this plank by plank. And I am at this minute, well not this minute because I'm filming, but I am getting 
a little bit higher. I found two pieces of wood there and there and I started putting planks in. Any little bits of wood that I can find is going in just to build that higher. Because like I said, I am running out of space to put me, not weeds, some of it's weeds, but it's this time of year, isn't it, when you start pulling everything up and it's like, there I'm going to put cardboard on top and put some compost on it. Like I've done here, look, I've put the cardboard on, but I haven't bought the compost yet. So, it's round about this time of the year when the compost starts getting really cheap and I'm not going to use that anyway until until next year, maybe. So let's get on with this then. Right, except for that, which I've got to pull out, that's that cleared. And out of all that wood that I have, I've been able to make quite a sizable compost bin there to what it was. I used all the longer planks for the front and any shorter ones that I had I put here. So I could do with a few more short ones but that's fine for now. I've got a lot more room to put stuff. Oh, so, so, I think I'm going to cut you short now. Well, not cut you short because what we are on, 22 minutes. So that's not bad, is it? So from sunny Weymouth, I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.